Hello, my name is Lauren Harrington uh, with Rockwell Automation. I'm an industry sales director for hybrid manufacturing. And today we're joined by three of our technology partners within the Rockwell Automation Partner Network to discuss opportunities, challenges, and also trends within the consumer product goods manufacturing. Thank you, Lauren. My name is Jeff Holcomb. I'm from Mettler Toledo. We're the largest producer of weighing equipment for the automation industry. I am Chuck Clark. I'm with Hardy Process Solutions. I'm the National Business Development Manager. We specialize in weighing as well, uh, process weighing and packaging weighing in the industrial space. Hi, my name is Matt Moyer. I'm the Cognitive Solutions Business Development Manager for Samson. Samson is a control valve manufacturer. We make control valves for lots of different industries from food and beverage to pharmaceuticals. Where do you see challenges that continue to rise in CPG manufacturers in the quality control space as the race for digital technology um, advances? The biggest issue that our customers have is they need data, but they have existing systems. So they want to get the data from existing systems. They don't want to rip and replace their equipment. They want to just get it out of the system. So what we propose is just changing the electronics and not changing everything in the system. They get connectivity to Ethernet IP for the control part and also OPCUA. OPCUA gives the insight and we produce more data that can be analyzed with the measurement for insights that they can improve the quality. How do we bridge that common ground between disparate systems? And then how do our customers look to it as one common solution? Really the key is to have a solid infrastructure of networking between all of the various parts of your control system. You have to have a solid network infrastructure in place to get that data via OPC UA. Uh, and customers want to see it as a common system. So the ability to, to bridge those various disparate systems over regar regardless of the, the network protocol is really the key. Today with open protocols like Ethernet IP, uh, utilizing things like OPCUA, it's very easy to do that. And it makes it seem as though it is a true common common system. Right. And there is a companion specification now for weighing mm -hmm. in OPCUA. Mm -hmm. So the data looks alike from yeah. every single weighing manufacturer. Most important piece of it is understanding the data that's available inside of a positioner and how you can get that out and utilize it. So in terms of trainings, we have videos on our website, we have in-house training, and we can also go on-site to do training for customers. So we'll do the trainings to understand really what the meaningful data is for sizing and also for being able to make sure that your control valve lifetime is extended by properly maintaining them and what you can use with that data. And I'm guessing that's helpful in the asset management and control, quality control. Absolutely. So it's making sure that you have the right valve sized and you're also maintaining them because the control valve is extremely important for being able to maintain stable control of the processes for high quality and also for filling applications too. It's about going from reactive with your control valve maintenance to predictive with using that data and how you can actually understand when your control valve might fail. How can connectivity and IIoT uh, provide advanced operations uh, and faster time to market for CPG manufacturers? With the standardization, they can get the data, they can analyze the data, make insights in the data, and bring that data down to their individual plants to improve the processes. Or they use it to speed up the process or even improve the quality at the same time because improving quality means less wasted product and more of our customers are looking at the sustainability part. What data would you see as a priority for in the CPG space uh, to manage waste and quality? Everything from the materials that they're sourcing from their suppliers all the way through the materials that are used in the production process as well. Um, so taking that data, pulling it together, contextualizing it, and turning it into actionable information. So things like cycle time, um, um, reducing the amount of rework that ne needs to be done on product, making sure that what you put in the package is the right amount, you're not overfilling or underfilling. 
and helping to reduce waste. Even looking that you bought the right equipment, right? What are, some of our customers are seeing that the, the equipment that they installed wasn't the correct one, that they can do better, even at a lower price. Matt, this one's for you building on that. Uh, how can predictive maintenance help customers identify waste quality problems and enable optimized production? Yeah, with control valves, it's getting more and more critical for tight control on processes to hit those 99% purity or maybe it's hitting 99% efficiency numbers. So in a control valve, being able to understand how it's operating, whether it's operating close to its seating surface, which could wear it potentially more, whether or not it's high cycling where you could get leaks through the packing so that you would have process issues where you could have contamination or leaks. We want to understand the data that's being fed back from how it's actually working, how many times it's cycling, and so we can give that back to the team, the customers, the engineers there, so that they're able to make use of that data and then schedule work, whether it's not scheduling work too, to be able to maintain uptime too, it's very important as well. And what's really cool is you can look at multiple sources of data, like taking the control valve and looking at the weight, right? When you're cutting off the control valve, there's a change in weight. And if, as the valve wears out, you see the weight change. So you can actually speed up the process by replacing the valve or maintaining the valve at the right time. You can see that, the customer can see that. And, and that brings up a good point too, you know, looking at maintenance and reliability, um, talking about AI now, and with uh, Rockwell's new factory talk, uh, Guardian, um, you can optimize the system even further by doing the predictive analytics. Right. Mm -hmm. For example, we give the condition monitoring data, we give the temperature actually of, of the measurement when it's made because weight is uh, temperature dependent. Mm -hmm. The customer can make then decisions based on multiple uh, sensor data inside our, our sensor, right? mm -hmm. of course, terminals. Yeah. 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 And more and more manufacturers have the ability to understand that, but you've got to pull that data out of the positioners that are on there. So we have, just like many others in the industry, the ability to easily seamlessly talk with the factory talk to be able to have those alerts sent to when you're getting leaking inside of your processes, which just leads to more waste and bad quality. What are ways CPG customers can reduce waste and costs within their plant? It's very, very important that your trained technicians and engineers understand what data they can get out of that, how they can utilize that data so that they're making sure they're not getting any poor quality, and also that they're able to maintain as much uptime. Because as we look for efficiencies and more production, it's uptime is what we see, not necessarily saving on manufacturing co or maintenance costs and gaskets, but it's that uptime. And if we can get customers operating more through artificial intelligence and the data and the algorithms that we apply to them, that's the most important. How can customers meet the demands of quality control and management within CPG better than, to, than they are today? It's embracing the, the systems and technology that is out there today, embracing manufacturing execution systems, embracing digital quality management systems. You know, in far too many plants that I go into, I see the quality as not, a, not really um, an add-on, but a separate entity. So you've got your production processes going, and they're very efficient. But as, as machines wear and things change, parameters change, the quality may be off a bit. Well, the quality group is doing their job in their, their, in their own automated way, me measuring that and saying, hey, we've got a quality issue. But it doesn't directly correlate efficiently back to the production system. So to have that closed loop so that you can have a, a closed loop production optimization, if you will, overall efficiency of the production system. And it really is all about smart production. Very nice. Okay, well, thank you for your time today. Um, thank you for sharing your thought leadership and expertise. Thank and you. we look forward to hearing more uh, about how you're improving industrial automation and CPG and working closely with our clients.